So you just bent it the wrong way. I'm sure. worried it's going to snap. Ah, beauty. So much blood. And this is the object we're installing. Hey folks, welcome back to yet another video. So for those of you new here, we're Andy and Sophie and we started this channel to document our journey to changing our lives. Our first stop is of course, converting our Mercedes Sprinter Ray into a camper van. So join us each week where we're going to share with you some of the trials and tribulations of, you know, doing a camper van conversion, but also give you a little lens into our lives. In last week's video, we fitted our vinyl floor amongst other things. So go check that video out if you haven't seen it already. This week, we're going to be tackling that storage step. So let's get to it. Good morning. Um, I have just been carpeting the seat bases. Well, the seat base, I'm going to do the other one. So we've got the seat base here. Uh, this is for the double seat. And we've got the single seat, the driver's one, which we can't take off because it's got all the electrics and stuff in. So I'm going to go and carpet that one in there. Let's go and do the other one. Right, so now I'm going to be carpeting this seat base. So same again. Here's Andy. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, he's making the underset there. Nearly. Nearly. And then you're going to cut a hole in it, basically. Yeah, well, I'll cut it in, batten it underneath. Yeah. And then, yeah, ideally, a oh, nice is. straight round hole somehow. Okay, so I finished carpeting the base. It's not the neatest ever, but I think once the seat's on, it'll look fine. Um, so now Andy's just finished cutting the kind of wood bits out. Now he's working on the framing for the step. I've just cut out a template and then we're gonna put the hole in where we're gonna kind of store things. This wood filler bottle thing, tin, to make it round at the edge. Do that on both ends and then join with a line and then cut that out and then somehow cut it out of the oh, hello Lise. What will we use? A jigsaw to cut that out. Hey? A jigsaw to cut the hole out. If I'm honest with you, I've got no idea. Mm. I'm worried about that because I don't want it to be some uneven, no. horrible looking crappy hole. Okay, getting there with the step. I knew that was going to happen. Right, nearly coming to the end of the day. Just putting the seats back on. Looking good. Jesus. Going well. <laughs> oh. oh no. What? What's going on here? Is it wonky? Hey? You're really putting your heart and soul into that. Uh, what's, the, what's the options? <laughs> Let this be a lesson. I've had to take everything off the ceiling and start it all over again. And I've actually broken some cladding panels in the in the process. But the reason I've had to do this, two reasons. One, which I've already mentioned, which was bringing the solar cable through from the roof. And the second one is my 4G internet um, signal booster, which is gonna go on the roof. So I've had to put a, another hole here. So that's gonna be sat by the front. So that's a Mimo 3, and it's fairly, fairly large. It has to sit on top. <sighs> but the lesson here is you should always just fit everything that needs to come into the van at the beginning so you don't have to keep going backwards on yourself. But this is because we don't plan. Anyway, let me show you what we've got on the roof. So as you can see, hole here, and that's so that it should, for these bits, fit straight in. Nice. And this is the object we're installing. Okay, let's get going. So luckily it comes with a longer base to come through. The, the one that came it came with was a I can't remember what it was now, 10mm 
it's longer, but it's too long, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that. You actually can't see that, but actually it does protrude down slightly, so I need to cut it so that it sits above the cladding. So I'm just going to take that out, cut it down so that I can bolt it in and hold it secure. silicone is much improved over last year's attempt ha. and then if we go down here you can see it all comes through nicely and tied up here so now I have the wire that goes into the router Today, what is the plan? Sofa's upstairs. On some sort of literature call. Don't know what that's about. Um, and I'm going to try and get the step finished today. So as part of the step, what I'm trying to do is um, obviously put some holes at the front so that you can squeeze shoes in. But it's not really a, it's not really a long piece of wood. What I'm doing is these holes here. I'm going to basically carve these out. And then the inferior shoe should be a slot in there. Um, the reason we're doing it in two is really to give this a bit of support in the middle rather than a big long hole. It just seems a bit more sensible doing it like that. Um, I don't know. Give it a go, I suppose. Thanks. Thanks, Wagner. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. It bought us a coffee. Have you also found Gordy for the £10 super thanks? Yeah. Thanks, Gordy. So, that was a... Very nice of people, wasn't it? I know. Actually... Fueling our coffee addictions and yes. helping you buy fur coats. Yes. <laughs> cool. All right. What's my job today? Um, you can probably do this if you want. Actually film it, rather than just us <laughs> staring at it. <laughs> these side bits for the van Andy ordered from Evo Design so you can see it's kind of shaped around this exact bit because it's not finished here obviously at the moment so this fits perfectly in there if you can do it with two hands <laughs> um, and there's another bit so this is this side I think up here so what we're going to do is carpet them and then that will finish off those front bits really nicely and then we're really almost there with this kind of front part. Because it's D for driver. Is it? P for passenger. Ah. Okay. So, <laughs> so you just bent it the wrong way. I'm sure. worried it's gonna snap. But it's bent it's I know, no, that's that's what can't I mean. be right, no. Because it's part of purposely got that D for driver though, isn't it? Does it matter? Um No, because it's Meant to spend the other way. 
No, because it's, yeah, 100% because it's scored that way, so that's got to be that oh, side. So I, I, I agree with you, it can't be, can it? No. So I think they've just put the wrong letters in. Maybe. Oh, guess too high. <laughs> yeah. Because we've got that bit. Uh, that's all right, we can cut it off. Yeah, we'll cut it. Yeah, I agree. And the passenger one fits, I see, I see. and they look pretty much the same, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, and I guess this bit's meant to bend round there then, but obviously we don't really need it to. We do here. There, yeah. Oh yeah, because it's got so we, I guess we just need to take this whole top bit off. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay. So I think we're out of carpeted. Oh, cool. Cool. That's easier, isn't it? For the sake of 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Always making shortcuts. <laughs> it would have taken a whole weekend, wouldn't it? It's true, to yeah. To cut it like that. To get the shape right and everything. Always take shortcuts where you can. Always take shortcuts. <laughs>
so far so good but like all these things still taking way longer than I was expecting the steps looking pretty good the only bit that's missing at the moment is the trim but yeah let me know what you think of this the carpeting is it carpeting oh, some rough shoes again inside the shoe storage and I've actually stuck this bit on the side very very self-built stories which is where I got the idea from their video. The only bit now is to put trim all around here, up to here. This is just, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Right, so after yesterday's fiasco, which was basically the aluminium just mangling and then flying across, it actually hurt my hand quite a bit. Lesson learned. One, I'm not going to hold it with my hand. I'm going to use the pressure thingy majiggy on here that holds the thing down. I've also put the aluminium, let me show you. There you go. You can see, that was yesterday, mangled. So this day, what I'm gonna do is obviously wood, big piece of wood, I'm gonna put it underneath here, and then I'm gonna miter saw through it here. Now, I know you probably should be using a miter saw blade that's probably, for aluminium, they're like 60 quid, man. So apologies. If this is a death scene, I hope it, well, hopefully it won't be. Okay. That worked. So now it should be my join. Perfect. Sussed it. Yeah. The floor is complete. Trim is all done. Goes just around to there. You happy with it? Yeah, I'm alright with it. Quite happy about it. Got a little seat. Well. It looks awesome. Yeah, I think once that bit's glued at the top and that bit's gone. Yeah, perfect. Does it fit my shoe? Hopefully. It actually does. That's alright, isn't it? You probably get two pairs of shoes in there, I reckon. Yeah, I think so. It's big enough space. Yeah. Cool. Well done. First thing that's actually gone very well. It's all gone well. This just seemed quite easy. Like, not that stressful. No, yeah, in all seriousness, it has gone well. Yeah. Very good. Look at these holes. I know. Do, 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 you think they look, do you think they look straight? Do you think they look... I think so. I do think that one is slightly bigger than that one, but... That's what makes uh, it a van build yeah, though, exactly. isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I don't think anyone will be able to tell. That's what makes it custom. Custom. Quirky. I, well, I made it so that it was a different size. Good. So the measure. Yeah. So that it looked custom. <laughs> so, next is... Working out the shower. Yeah. We ain't going to get much done this weekend. I thought I was going to get this done in about two hours this morning. I know. It's taken me... It's now like two o'clock, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm glad I've got to cut these now. I, was, I woke up in the night worried about this. Oh, God. Look at that crisp corner. It doesn't look crisp when you do it close up. No, it does. It actually does. Crisp as anything. I don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> I'm like a DIY genius. Yeah, gain some skills. Hi everyone, so Andy from the future. We're currently out there at the moment we're working on that shower. We're doing the shower frame. So in the next video, lots of exciting stuff coming. Uh, but yeah, as you can see in this video, we packed quite a lot in. There was quite a bit happening over the last two weeks. Um, it all looks easy, doesn't it? In a 20 minute video. Quite hard that was. But anyway, please remember, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>